Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Carmine Sabia, and this is Explain America. Conservatives appear to be winning the battle against Target and its Pride Month collection, which was partially furnished by a Satanist. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out, and it helps our channel continue to grow. Now, Target is seeing its stock price drop to the lowest it's been all year. They've had close to a $10 billion loss since the boycott began. So what started the boycott? Listen, we all know June is Pride Month. Pride Month is coming, and that's fine. Whatever people want to do, I'm not exactly certain why the whole world has to celebrate your month with you, it, why it's not something that you can just celebrate by yourself. Italian Heritage Month is in October. As Italian-American, I, I haven't seen any displays in any stores for Italian Heritage. I have yet to see a Christian heritage display or a Muslim heritage display or a Jewish heritage display or a Buddhist heritage display or whatever. I don't see that. I don't see anybody, I don't see anybody, any other group that calls on the whole world to celebrate their, their thing. Be that as it may, there seems to be a large portion of the community that wants to celebrate pride even though they're not officially part of the LGBTQIA plus et cetera community. Fine. Do what you want to do. That's life. This is America. You're free. God bless you. Enjoy yourself. But Target, they're they're feeling the heat. They're taking the losses, but they're doubling down. Yeah, they've removed all the items. There's three items that were produced by this Satanist. None of them refer to Satan. You might see online that people are saying that, oh, they had this Satan thing in Target or that Satan thing in Target. They did not. These were just about trans inclusion and yada, yada, yada. Let's take a look at the letter, however, that Target sent to its own employees doubling down on this. And, and at the end of it, I want you to see how woke and ridiculous it gets. At the end, there's a second part. I'm going to show you the first part and then the second part. And the second part is downright hilarious. So let's take a look at the first part. This is written by the Target CEO, and he writes, Team... I want to end the day where briefly started on a note of care. This has been a very hard day for Target, and it follows many difficult days of deliberation and decision-making. To our team in stores, thank you for steadfastly representing our values. No one is better at working through uncomfortable situations in service to an inclusive guest experience. What you've seen in recent days went well beyond discomfort, and it has been gut-wrenching to see what you've confronted in our aisles. Well, I'm going to stop this right here. Clearly, if you're confronting a lot of angry customers in your aisles, I would say that your service has been anything but inclusive. Clearly, you're disturbing your customer base. I digress and get back to the letter. To our team in the service centers, thank you for your patience and professionalism through high volumes of angry, abusive, and threatening calls. I recognize how difficult and even frightening those interactions can be, and I thank you for the composure with which you've fielded those comments. To the teams who have been working so hard on our plans for Pride and are now showing incredible agility as we adjust, thank you. Your efforts will ensure we can still show up and celebrate Pride in meaningful ways. To the LGBTQIA community, one of the hardest parts in all of this was trying to contemplate how the adjustments we're making to alleviate these threats to our team's physical and psychological safety would impact you and your well-being and psychological safety. And it goes on to say that they stand with them until we get to the next part of the letter, which apparently is titled briefly, which I didn't know. And it says, Yesterday was a hard day for Target, as CEO Brian Cornell said. Thank you for the care you've shown each other. Our frontline teams and the LGBTQIA plus community. Today brings more reflection, pain, and the need for continued care as our team, hometown, and world remember the anniversary of the murder of George Floyd. What? What does George Floyd have to do with pride? Are you just trying to cram all the wokeness you can into one letter. George Floyd, may he rest in peace, unjustly killed by a police officer? Absolutely. No argument. 
What does it have to do with this letter? What does it have to do with pride? It's like the world has just gone off a cliff. Sometimes I, I feel that way. And I, I hope I'm not alone. I pray I'm not alone in this. I, I don't understand anymore. I just don't understand anymore. Where is the call? Show me the call for this. Is there a large portion of our community that's calling for this stuff? And by our community, I mean America. If Target really, really cares about pride, if all these woke corporations really care about pride, well, then here's what I want to see. If it's not just about money, and it's not just about image, and it's not just about virtue signaling, here's what I want to see. Target, other companies, you're in some Middle Eastern countries. And I notice that you don't do any pride-related things there. Why? If this is something that you steadfastly believe in, it's part of your values, it's part of your values, then why isn't it part of your values around the world? Are you cowards? Do you just want to push this stuff on the West? We're the ones that have to deal with your values, but the rest of the world, you don't have any values? Explain to me how that works. I don't understand because my values are always my values. No matter where I am, no matter who I'm talking to, my values are my values. But your values, well, they seem to differentiate depending on where you are and who you're trying to take money from. And are those really values at all? Interesting. I want to thank everybody for joining us here today. Again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. I really want to read your comments on this, guys. So please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.